This is the Great Plains on the ancient island of Gondwar. With an abundant supply of both food and water, it is a magnet for the myriad of species that inhabit the island. These animals are all controlled by humans lurking deep in their parents' basements. But however enticing the Great Plains may be, it is also a place of immense danger for all those that inhabit it. Predators abound, but they are not the only worry. Large, powerful herbivores will aggressively defend their young and members of their herd and will kill any unwary predator, given the chance. Today we follow a small pack of Eutyrannus as they head out into the Great Plain for the very first time. The name means Feathered Tyrant and they can be every bit as deadly as their famous T-Rex cousin. Early members of the Tyrannosaurid family, they are formidable hunters in their own right. Adults have a length in excess of eight meters and can easily weigh over a ton. A pack of three adult Eutyrannus present a serious risk to almost any animal they encounter. Or so you would think. These three though are what is more commonly known to paleontologists as noobs. Two males and one female, they are siblings and they have only just reached adulthood. Little do they know they are already being watched. Triceratops, this battle-scarred bull, is in the prime of his life. Of a similar length to the Eutyrannus at over eight meters, it weighs 10 times what the Eutyrannus do. This one in particular seems very determined to show who is the boss of the Great Plains. As the female wanders ahead, the two males finally notice their pursuer. Curious, they move to investigate. The huge bull moves with deliberate purpose slowly closing the distance towards his intended targets. The conflict looks inevitable. But before the bull can ready his charge, sudden cries from the female behind them cause the male UTs to swiftly respond. Their sister is under attack. Hatsogopteryx. With a skull nearly three meters in length and a wingspan of 10 meters, it stands as tall as a giraffe. Hated by most, it is widely known as the baby killer on the island. Its preferred killing strategy is to snatch up small, defenseless young from unwary parents, then fly to a great height and drop the unfortunate little babies to their death. Today, however, this one seems to be ignoring the little ones. It apparently has larger prey in mind. Before she can react, the female is stabbed three times in rapid succession. The two males charge in, their large, powerful jaws biting into their sister's attacker. Quickly realizing he is outnumbered and outmatched, the now injured Hatsogopteryx flees to the safety of a nearby plateau. The two males roar in anger and frustration. But it's now clear they have paid a heavy price for the encounter. The female and one of the males are seriously injured and bleeding heavily. Another Hatsogopteryx immediately swoops in, looking to take advantage of the situation. It hovers above, looking for an opening. Frustrated and in pain, and with the angry Triceratops also closing in, the three young Eutyrannus slowly try to retreat from the area.
drawn to the commotion, and Aliaramis also moves in, looking for any opportunity for an easy meal. Surrounded on all sides and their injuries slowing them down, the three slowly make their way across the grassland, now shadowed by a growing number of opportunistic predators. The noobs are in trouble. The big bull has also not given up and is still determined to make the kill. Most likely so he can brag to his other basement dwelling friends who also play dinosaurs. He doggedly closes the gap, full of anger and hell bent on destruction. He is soon close enough to launch his attack. With a quick flick of his head, he charges at the most visibly injured, the female. His long pointed horns penetrate into her hide. One of the males immediately runs in to defend her, but his inexperience shows and he is also stabbed by the long horns of the angry bull. As both males try to distract the Triceratops and save their sister, they both take additional injuries. One of the males is now in immediate danger of losing his life. Too badly hurt to continue and covered in blood, he runs to join his sister and escape the onslaught. The big bull roars in his triumph and continues his pursuit. With two of the three Uteranus now gravely injured, the Aliorimus sees his moment. Following closely, he pushes the UTs forward to further drain their stamina. As the Hatsigopteryx also circles above, it's not looking good for the noobs. The badly injured male sees an opening, and with his remaining strength, he takes off running back towards the mountains. The Aliaramus is in hot pursuit. The remaining Uteranus also start running to catch up and help their packmate, and soon leave the Triceratops behind. Unable to keep up the grueling pace, he has finally given up the chase. As the Aliaramus closes in, he roars in excitement. With his prey starting to slow and falter, and no longer able to run, the UTs huddle together, determined to defend their brother. The Aliaramus is now finally ready to unleash his most deadly secret weapon, Lag. Possessing an almost magical ability to appear in two places at once, the Aliaramus presses his attack. Seeing the confusion from the noobs, he even mounts a nearby boulder and taunts his prey with a roar. The alley returns to his slashing attacks, quickly darting in and out, each time taking small bites out of the already hemorrhaging male. 
The UT do their best to land bites in return, and sometimes even succeed in landing a blow, despite their opponent's mastery of time travel. Soon, both the Aliuramus and the badly injured male Utiranus are close to death, both bleeding heavily. They instinctively know the next few blows will likely determine the outcome. Mindless of the consequences, they launch themselves at each other. But with another time traveling sidestep, the Aliuramus turns quickly and deals a fatal blow to the neck of the male Utiranus. He immediately collapses and the fight for survival is over. The Aliuramus roars in his victory and quickly goes about sating his hunger, ripping apart the fallen UT and eating him in front of the noobs. As the sun is setting, the remaining two, Uteranus, walk painfully back to their mountain to tend their wounds and mourn their brother. But one day, they will be back to exact their revenge.